So what's it like for you two? Has it been a bit of a step up for training with, with the first team? Have you learned a lot, would you say? Ah, uh, yeah, it's a big step up, you know, playing with great players, you know, you can only, you can only get better. You know. Calm, what about you as, as a left back? There's a number of players, obviously, in the, at the club. It's a strong position, so Charlie Mulgrew, Emilio Izaguirre, guys to look up to and try and learn a bit from. Oh, uh, you know, great players, you know, and I can only look at them and try and learn from them, you know, and try and get better. Is there anyone in particular that you've modelled yourself on? Not really, no, but obviously I'd, I'd try and like to be as good as like the kind of senior guys in the team, you know. And what about yourself, Liam, as well? Midfield, very strong position. You must look ahead and go, there's so many great players that you can learn from. Ah, yeah, there is. Chris Commons, Beram, Kyle, they've all given me great advice on the trip, playing the games, telling me how to read the game. And Chris Commons especially, he's trying to get me to be better every, every train session and every game. Tell me some of the things that uh, Chris Commons says to you, because he is actually one of the older players of the team, he's one of the most experienced, they must have a lot of advice to impart on to you. Uh, he was telling me about my passes, he says, the difference between a, a good midfielder and an excellent midfielder is the way you pass it. He says, excellent midfielders, they rarely give a ball the way, like the Shavies or the Esther, so he says that's what I should be striving for. Uh, Sir Bastopol, you've seen him giving you a bit of instruction to get a bit further forward as well. Do you feel more comfortable in a more attacking role? I prefer, I, I prefer going getting the ball short and then going long I prefer try to mix it up a bit but I, I like attacking you. Now both of you have been with Celtic for years and you're pretty much living the dream for every young Celtic supporter. So Carl, I'll ask you first, I mean, what was it like when you first arrived at Celtic and signed for Celtic? Oh it was brilliant, you know, I didn't I didn't think it could get any better, you know, playing with Celtic training with them every week, you know, it was just a, it was a dream, you know. So how did it come about? Were you scouted by a boys team or how, how did it come about? Uh, I was just playing with a boys club and one of the scouts came and seen me and thought I was good enough to go in and I went in and they signed me, you know, so it was good. And before that had you always been a big Celtic fan? Uh, I'm a massive Celtic fan, you know, everybody in my family, big, big Celtic fans. So who was your hero growing up then, if you had to pick one player that you just looked up to all the time? Oh, it would be maybe... Probably Hen Henrik Larson. You can not look any. You can look any further than him, you know. And always with the Henrik Larson question, you must have a, f a favourite goal of his. Yeah, uh, uh, it has to be the one he chipped over Kloss. It was different class. Uh, and Liam, about yourself coming to Celtic, what was it like for you? Uh, it was brilliant. It was a different experience from being at Hearts because Hearts are, are a relatively big team in Scotland, but Celtic is massive. An opportunity when they came in and I just couldn't turn it down, seeing the big stadium and that, just hoping one day to play in front of the fans. So tell us about that experience, how did you first find out that Celtic were interested? Well I had a coach that was at Hearts and then he went to Celtic a year before me and he was, I think he really liked me so I think he, Willie McNabby's name was, he tried to get me in and then I got my dad got a phone call one day when I was out shopping with my mum and the phone says I Celtic have been on the phone and I want to sign you so I was delighted with that and I was just wanted to sign. So then you were obviously brought into the stadium, I mean, what, what's that like? Obviously you'd been at Hearts, you'd seen their stadium, but into Celtic Park? Oh, compared to Tynecastle, Celtic Park's leap, like years ahead. And I went to went to a Hibs game and the fans were excellent and just the atmosphere and that was superb. So every year for both of you since you signed for Celtic, you've gradually been improving, been improving, been improving. You get to this point now you're playing with the first team, is it kind of a case sometimes you're trying to pinch yourselves? Uh, I know it's, it's it's really weird watching the tele every week and then suddenly you've just you're you're kind of playing with them, training with them, you know. So it's it's crazy. I see him playing with Chris Commons. See him playing at Hamden, Mulgrew. See him playing at Hamden. Watch them against Wales and then you're actually on the field with them playing. They're passing the ball and that's a strange feeling. So you're taking a wee bit wee bit impartial now because there's a lot of competition in the Celtic first team but who's the best trainer so I'm going to put you on the spot Calm. Who's, who's impressed you the most in training? It's hard, it's hard. It's hard. You're not allowed to sit in the fence as well? I, I have to go for probably, I don't know, Chris Commons or maybe James Forrest. So what is it that's impressed you? Is it their work ethic or their determination to it? The ability, just different class honestly. I'd say Chris Commons or Charlie Mulgrew because Charlie he rarely gives the ball away in training and Chris Commons he's just constantly working hard and he rarely gives it away either. We we're playing Cluj this Saturday, another tough game, another step up. I'd imagine you're both hoping to feature in that one. I'd be, it'd be great to feature, just just hoping to get any sort of kind of game time. You know, I'd be, I'll be delighted. I see. I'd be delighted to get a run out in that game as well. Cluj is a good team. Played in the Champions League last year, so it'd be good to test yourself against. Their players as well. And also for the both of these, 
Well, this is a pre-season tour and it's all about getting match sharpness, but what are you hoping to take away from the overall experience? Hoping to um, learn as much as I can and improve as much as I can in these two weeks, learning from the manager, Parks, Johan, Danny, teaching you new things, taking it on board and hopefully improve my game further. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm just looking to improve and just keep, keep getting better.